Hello, welcome to Liverpool FC News Today channel. Liverpool kick-started their 2022-23 in underwhelming fashion, scraping to a 2-2 draw with Fulham. Jurgen Klopp's side lacked plenty of spark throughout the 90 minutes. And some may see the last month of the transfer window as a way for the manager to prevent that level of performance from becoming the norm. Fulham made the dream start to their return to the Premier League in the 32nd minute, with Aleksandr Mitrovic arriving late at the back post to head home. Following weak defending from Trent Alexander-Arnold. Summer signing Darwin Nunez then came off of the bench to level the match in the 64th minute before Fulham went ahead again via Mitrovic, winning a penalty before Cooley converting from the spot. Mohamed Salah then made sure the spoils were shared with 10 minutes left on the clock, slotting home from close range. The Reds certainly won't be happy with their overall display, and their mounting injury woes in the centre of the park won't aid their title charge. Thiago hobbled off of the pitch in the 51st minute, meaning that Liverpool are without four central midfielders at the minute. Naby Keita, Alex Oxlade, Chamberlain and Curtis Jones were all unavailable for the trip to Craven Cottage, highlighting the Reds' need for another player in the centre of the park. Without the acquisition of one, as it stands the club will rely on veteran James Milner to provide depth, with Harvey Elliott and Fabio Carvalho also available but are attacking players by nature and are also viewed as back UPS to the front three, meaning they leave another area light if they are required to start. And it was not just in midfield that Liverpool were potentially lacking numbers. There is certainly an argument to be made that the Anfield outfit lack different options in the final third, especially considering they have waved goodbye to three forwards this summer. Divock Origi, Takumi Minamino and Sadio Mane have all departed this summer and the only attacker to come in is Nunez. Of course, Carvalho could be deployed on the wing but it would not be his preferred option. Fulham was a taste of what is to come for Liverpool this season as they attempted to break down a side that was Content to sit back and spend periods of the game without the ball late on, and it was a time when Klopp was relying on his options. A young natural forward or two could be a smart acquisition by the Reds, especially considering the manager has stressed that long-term signings are the only way they will deal with short-term absences. Klopp might be wise to recruit another winger given that Salah and Luis Diaz are the only out-and-out -out wide players at the club. As it stands, 